In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to set up Omnisend, create your first email campaigns, activate a email signup form on your website, set up automations for abandoned carts and checkouts in WooCommerce, how to import all of your contacts and how to connect your domain name to Omnisend. If you want to help me out and want to receive 30% discount if you ever upgrade to a pro plan, go to this link wp.discount/omnisend. I will be forever grateful. This link is also in the description of this video and in the comment section, of course. And here we are at the website of Omnisend. Before we can start using and putting it on our website, we need to create a free account. But make sure to use this code if you want to use the pro version. This is very helpful. And we're going to press on claim deal. Then I'm going to press on sign up with email. And I'm going to fill in my email address. Make sure to create a really strong password. Yes, I do. I agree with the terms of use. And if you want the newsletter, also check this box. And we press sign up. Now we have a confirmation link that we need to click. Open up your email and click on this button. Then we need to do two more steps. I'm currently at the MailChimp program and I want to use Omnisend from now on. Which platform are you using for your online store? We are using WooCommerce. Press continue. And last but not least, I am in the Netherlands. And make sure to fill out your real information because when you start sending emails, all this information need to be correct. Good morning, Matt. Welcome to Omnisend. The next step is to connect WooCommerce with Omnisend. Go to your WordPress website. If you're still using WP Admin to log in, no! that's not no, a very no! safe way, so please watch my tutorial about securing your WooCommerce website. On our dashboard, we go to Plugins, Add New Plugin. Then over here, we're going to search for the plugin called Omnisend. Here we are. And then we have Email Marketing for WooCommerce by Omnisend. Press Install Now and press activate. If the page doesn't refresh automatically, click on here, refresh now. Then we click on this blue button, connect your store to Omnisend and press connect your account. Then we see over here, Omnisend app would like to connect to your store. So what are the permissions that we are giving Omnisend right now? They can create webhooks, view and manage coupons, customers, order sales reports and products. Well, that's exactly what I want Omnisend to do so that it fully integrates with our WooCommerce system to really dive in and send really targeted emails to my customers. So this is excellent. We press approve. So to make sure our forms and our emails look a bit like our website, we're going to set up our brand assets. First, select your logo over here. Now you can upload your logo from Omnisend. You can do this straight from your computer with this button, but you can also upload it straight from your WordPress website. To do that, we go over here to Media Library, and then you just find your logo in here, like this one, and then you press this button, Copy URL to Clipboard. Then over here, we're gonna press Upload from URL, and just paste in the link we have just copied from your own website. Press Upload, here we are. Now we have our logo inside of Omnisend, and then we hover over our logo and press Select. Here we are. Then we're gonna change the colors, the dark, light, and the accent color. For this e-commerce website, I created an entire tutorial of four hours. And also when you download the package, you get this with all the colors we're going to use inside of our Elementor website. So let's start with the accent color. I'm just going to copy this one and paste it in over here. There we are. Then we go to the dark. We're going to use the dark color should be our primary color or maybe our secondary, which also looks very nice. Here we are. And the light color should still be white. That is great. All right, then we go to the fonts, the headings and the paragraphs. Also in here are my fonts. I'm using Roboto and Sora. So I go over here and my headings should be Roboto. Let's see if it's in here. And for the paragraphs and footnotes, I'm going to use Open Sans. Here we are. There we go. And then we have social links. You can add social links over here. So let's add in my social links. I have YouTube, so I'm going to add it in. Just fill in your own social links that you want to use inside of your emails. All right, then we press on Save Brand Assets. And then Omnisend tells us to do these four steps to help me sell more products from day one. Well, Recover Abandoned Cars is indeed a very powerful feature that would really work on our WooCommerce website 
if they're locked in, because they need to be locked in to actually harvest those email addresses. Welcome new subscribers, collect subscribers, duh, and send your first email. Well, let's do this. Now, let me walk you through all these four steps so we can actually start making more money from Indeed day one. Collect subscribers on our website. Very important step. Of course, we need to have some kind of form. So we're going to launch sign up form. And now we are at the, I would say, page builder from Omnisend to create our first sign up form. It's very logical. We have all these items. You can just drag and drop them in here, just like Elementor or Divi. It just works exactly the same. Works excellent. Now, what do we want to do? We want to create something that is worth leaving your email address for. In this case, 10% off your first order. This could be really interesting for new people visiting your website. So let's go with this one and be the first to hear about our new product drops. Well, you can, of course, customize it. Just click on it and then you can type it on the right side. You can change the heading, the font, the line height, the colors, everything in here. OK, get 10% off. Be the first to hear about and your email and press this button to get 10% off. I don't think this button really pops out. So we're going to change it really quick. This button style, primary button, you can change it to secondary or territory. I like the tertiary because this one is way darker and now it pops off the screen. But feel free to also create it just the way you want it for your own website. If you want to change the style of the primary, secondary and tertiary button, just press on this one, button settings. And here you can style the buttons so you can easily click on them to use them in the future. Now that's really useful. All right, just your email and get 10% off. But I also would like to get someone's name. So we're going to use this field, a input field, drag and drop it into here. Let's change this field a little bit because I don't like this first name. So the map to profile field, and it will put this input into the first names of our contact. So that's great. The placeholder text, we can just change it to first name. That's great. Well, I don't want to have a label. I just want a first name and email. Let's change it to your name. And then we don't need this label. I don't like it. And then we have this field is required, of course. Now, what I actually want to do right now is I want to have this in two columns because it just looks better. So we go over here to two columns, click on this one, and we're going to drag and drop it in here like this. Then we're going to change your name to edit in here and your email to there, here we go. Then the 10%, I want it to be below there, but then we need, of course, I wanted to say a container because of Elementor, but I'm just gonna use one column in here and just drag and drop it to there. This is great, but now you can see there's a lot of space between them. So just go into this container, <laughs> I keep saying it, and just remove this pixels, put it to zero, and also click on here. And on the top padding, we're going to change this to zero, change the layout of the, the two columns and change this one to zero. I think this was the way better. Also this one, put it more up. Here we are. Now this was like the original and this really looks great. Now maybe you also want to add in an image in this pop-up box, then you can just go over here, drag and drop the image and put it in over there and just upload an image from your website. Something like this, a product image for, for example, then it's really big, so we can also make it smaller. Just drag and drop this over here. And maybe you want to have two columns with two kind of products. It's all possible within this form builder. In this case, we're not gonna use an image, but now you know it's possible. You can also use a countdown timer. That's also pretty nice to grab this discount. Make sure to leave your name and your email address. That really creates an urgency inside of your pop-up. This is all possible with this awesome form builder. Then we go to step number two, click over here, and then you can join your VIP club. Why? Omnisend is really getting big because they're using also SMS as a marketing channel. And it really does a good job. Don't underestimate the power of SMS because we're all using Telegram and WhatsApp right now. So SMS is really like a different channel and it really pops up on your screen and you're like, hey, what's this? It still works. And the way to get those phone numbers is they're using now join our VIP club. Hmm, that's a nice one. Enter your number, be first to know about our VIP member deals. That is something that could actually work. We're gonna change this one to our tertiary button 
and this looks way better. All right, then the next step, when they filled it in, we get a success over here. Thanks for signing up. As a thank, you'll find a 10% discount to your inbox. But if someone tries to sign up, but is already subscribed, they will see this, you're already subscribed. Maybe we should add some more text to it. Just drag and drop this one into there and type in something like this. You can just add in a text that someone will read when they already subscribed. If you click on this one, you will see that this little thing over here is the 10% off teaser. If people click on it, then they're gonna start with step number one. So this is very nice. Now, of course, when do you show this little button? You can choose to show it before displaying the form, but also after when people have clicked it away and didn't fill it out. So you can choose this option before displaying the form and after closing the form. And then we can also add in the close button. I would say do this, but it's because of my personality, I like to have control. If people experience they have control on your website, then they might stick around a little bit longer. Now, before we press on enable on our website, we need to go to step two, because when you click on this one, you can see on the right side, the privacy policy link, which is mandatory before we can add this in to our website, which is a good thing. Just put in here the link to your privacy policy on the website, we are going to show this form on. And then we press enable. Excellent, one of four goals is completed. Then we're going to create a welcome workflow. Now we need to do this because we promised them 10% discount. So customer subscribes, the system is going to wait one minute and then the discount link is being sent. Press continue setup. Now then we can also add our SMS to our welcome workflow for better reach. We have a free balance of $1. So that's pretty amazing. So I'm going to enable this one because you will notice that your conversion percentage, the people actually buying stuff from your website will actually increase when using SMS. So we're gonna press start workflow. Great job. Let's press on show my workflows. And now we are at the automation tab in OmniSend and it will show all of our workflows available to us. Now let's first click on the welcome workflow and you can see exactly how it works. This is a pretty simple system. You can see what's going on. Subscribers enter workflow when they sign up. Customer will exit it when they place an order. Okay, we're gonna wait for one minute or maybe longer, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you want. If you want to edit this email, just click on it. And then on the right side, you can see everything that you can change. For example, the subject line, welcome to, or maybe it's better, here is your 10% discount for, and then the name of your brand. In our case, Digitech. Now let's also put in some emoticons. Let's put on the fire icon. Always works really great. Let's change the subject line to here is your 10% discount for Digitech burn icon. And the pre-header right now is thanks for signing up for our newsletter. We're super excited to have you. Hmm. But you could also say newsletter. We're super excited to have you, for example. Just make something interesting that people would like to click on and see. The sender's name is the name of your brand, Digitech. And then we have the sender's email address. Now the sender's email address right now is the shared OmniSend email. I would like this to be sent from my WooCommerce webshop. To do that, we have to leave this automation process. So we're gonna do this later on. Over here, you can use a reply to email address. This would be great. Then you can choose a reply e to email. So when people just press on the reply button, it will go into your web shop's mail address. That would be fine. The language of your, of your email should be English or whatever. And then we can enable this box to actually pass non opted in context to the next workflow. So it will create a loop that they will go to the next workflow and the next. That will be great for now. We're just gonna leave this off and now we'll create a new workflow that picks up where this one has left. Then we have UTM settings and this will make sure that you can track the analytics of your campaign. So you can change the source, medium and campaign if you want to do that. Just keep it the same. Uh, this looks really great. So press update. And then after the mail has been sent, it's gonna wait for one day. And after 24 hours, then they will receive this SMS. We will wait for one day, but we can also send on the selected days of the week. Now, this is very important in conversion optimization. Why? You have to dive into your analytics and see when your target audience is buying the most products. In our case, what I see in the Netherlands is that people on Sundays buy the most products. 
So we're gonna make sure that this only will be sent on Sunday. So untick all these boxes. And now they will be only sent only on Sunday. So the system will wait at least one day, but will always send it on Sundays. That would be great for my target audience. So press update. And then the SMS itself, you can customize it over here. Now we have $1 of SMS credits. If you click on here, we can buy extra SMS credits. We have to leave the automation. So we're gonna press this cross icon. So I'm gonna show you in just a second how you can upgrade your SMS credits. And the next thing we need to do is we need to verify our phone number or else it won't be delivered to our US customers. So we're gonna do that in just a second because we have to leave the automation for that. The sender's name of the SMS would be the name of your brand, in this case, Digitech. And then the message text will be, hi, contact first name, default is there. I would change this to hi, and then we're gonna change this one. We're gonna add in the merge text to the first name. Thanks for joining the Digitech VIP membership. We have sent you the 10% discount code in your email and don't hesitate to ask us any questions you might have. Well, if we scroll down, you can also add a image. So if you're in the US or Canada, you can actually send an image with your SMS. That might be an MMS, right? You can just add it in over here. Automatically shorten links, add unsubscribe option for US and CA recipients, reply stop to opt out from these SMS. And also add an unsubscribe option and it is unsubscribe link. If you're not in the United States or Canada, you get an unsubscribe link over here. Excellent. Then we can preview as a US Canada recipient. Hi, blah, blah, blah. Reply stop to SMS this one. Or non USA will be, don't ask any questions you might have. Unsubscribe, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Maybe we should change the unsubscribe also to opt out from this SMS service, go to, and then the unsubscribe link. All right, then we press update. Now OmniSend is gonna ask us, do you want to do with those people who are already in the workflow right now? In our case, we don't need it, but if you are changing existing workflows and people are already inside the workflow, you have to choose, let them finish the workflow or exit them, but then they will just entirely stop. So we're gonna press, let them finish the workflow and publish changes. Here we go. We have a welcome workflow, excellent job, well done. Step two is already done. So let's go back to the dashboard and you can see that we have two more steps before I'm gonna show you a couple of other interesting things. Recover abandoned cards, really interesting. We're gonna launch this workflow. Now this is a real conversion booster and it's all inside of our OmniSend system. So really make use of this. Customer abandons cart, we're gonna wait for one hours. Items in your cart are selling out fast. Wait for 11 hours, your cart misses, you wait for 12 hours. We press on continue setup to set this all up. And of course it will work better with SMS messages so that they actually cannot leave you. I think that's very smart, so we're gonna add an SMS channel. Start the workflow. All right, then we are at the abandoned cart first before we're gonna choose the abandoned checkout because there are two different kind of workflows. So the first one is the abandoned cart. The customers enter the workflow, then they add an item to cart. Now remember, this will only work for people who are already signed into your website and then leave the cart with products inside of it. Why they have to be subscribed to your website or else you won't have an email address and a number to send them a text message. So in this case, customers enter the workflow when they add an item to cart, all right? They exit the workflow when they place an order or they start their checkout. When they start their checkout, they will be moved to the second workflow, which is the abandoned checkout. So that's pretty amazing. All the triggers are good over here, the trigger filters. Now the trigger inactivity time is now start the workflow after product to cart wasn't updated for one hour. I would say we change this to two or three hours because in multiple occasions, I just add products to my cart and my intention is to return to them the same day to actually buy the products when I've talked to my spouse about it or I talk to my kids. So this is actually three hours I think is great. You can also actually do 24 hours and that will be one day to change it to a day or a week, whatever seems fit for your target audience. If you scroll down, you can change this trigger to apply to not everyone, but specific kind of people. We don't need it in this workflow right now because this is about the cards. It's need to be triggered for all customers. 
The exit conditions are all great and we have the frequency. Skip contacts who've already been in this automation in the last one day. Very smart, let's skip them. Then we press on update. Then we go to the next one. This is the email they will receive from Omnisend. Subject line, items in your cart are selling out fast. Let's put in some fire icon in here and also this icon. In a pre header we can use their name. So let's add in the contact. The first name is this tag. So we're going to cut it out and put it in over here. For example, Matt, exclamation mark. There are items in your cart that can sell out fast. Get them before they are gone. So we are creating an urgency with this email. If you don't like it, you can change it the way you want it. But in marketing, this actually kind of works pretty good. Then the sender's name again, the email address, use reply email. You can use your email address. That works great. The language, the settings, and of course the UTM settings to tag it all. But it's a great press update. And then after 11 hours, they get another email which says your card misses you. I would say 11 hours is a bit too soon for this email. So I would say we're going to do this for after two days. Here we go. Maybe you only want to send it on Saturday and Sundays, for example. Because those are the days that your web shop has the highest conversion rate. Could be, could be all days. Just choose whatever you want. And if you don't have any sales yet, just keep everything on over here and you can fine tune it later on in the process. All right, press update. Then for two days, there comes another email. Your card misses you. I would change this to your card is about to be emptied or destroyed or I don't know, whatever you want. And then the pre order you still got items left in your card, but hurry, your card will expire in 24 hours. For example, the sender's name again, the email address, use reply email address. Here we go. And all great, press update. Then after 12 hours, you can see don't miss out on 15% off on your entire cart. Wow, this is something you might want to do, but it's also giving a 15% discount is maybe a little bit too much. So you can send this or in my case, I'm just going to delete this entire email because I don't want to send three emails for people. So I'm going to press on this button and press delete. Yes, I want to delete this email step. And this delay is unnecessary, so I'm going to delete this also. Here we go. This looks great. Press start workflow. And now this abandoned cart has been enabled on our web shop. Excellent job. Then the next step is the abandoned checkout. Click on it. And this is actually a little bit the same as the abandoned cart, but then totally applied to their checkout. So this trigger applies to everyone. Some people started their checkout. And in the last one day, again, really great. Now you already know how I would change all these emails and put it on two days. Your card misses you, wait for 12 hours, and then we get an SMS message also. Why is this only with the checkout and not with the card? Well, mainly because people who are already inside of your checkout really want to buy these products. So in this case, an SMS would matter and might just make the difference in the sale. And then we're gonna wait for five minutes again and then they're gonna send another discount email. Well, you know what I'm thinking about it. You can change it the way you want it. I'm gonna press start workflow and then this is also enabled. Excellent job. So the last step to boost our product sales is drive traffic to your store with an actual email. So I'm gonna show you right now how to create a email campaign. If you click on this one, we can choose an email an A-B testing, an SMS, or a push notification. What I actually want is to do an email A-B testing. If you have the possibility to do this, always make an A-B testing. And this only makes sense if you have more than 100 subscribers to your email list, because it has to test out two different versions on a small group, and then they send it out to all the people. So we're gonna press create A-B test. And then the A version subject line would be, so this is going to be an email about a new product we have just launched in our web shop, which is called the Dump Watch Pro, and it's now available. And a pre-header will be with a Beamer 4K screen and a taser inside of it. This is the best dump watch ever. Then the sender's name will be, of course, Digitech, and our email address will be 
again, if you want to send your email from your own domain, we have to verify that. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So we're just going to use the OmniSend email. Then we're going to use Reply2. That would be excellent. Okay, let's press Add the B version. In the B version, you actually want to change a different kind of things. For example, the subject line and the preheader, and maybe the sender's name, you also want to change to test out what works better for the click through rate. So the subject line on the B version would be the best dump watch so far with a 4K screen, lava proof, and five different skins. The sender's name is great. All this is great. The campaign name is only for internal use. So I'm going to change this to Dumbwatch Pro Campaign Spring 2024. So you can always remember what this campaign was all about and when you have sent it to all your customers. All right. Then we're going to press on the create email over here. Then we have a lot of templates with OmniSend. And that's the reason why I like OmniSend even better than MailChimp because you can use all these templates actually for free. And that's a very big difference with a lot of other email marketing software that pretends to be free, but then you want, you want to use it, you have to buy a lot of money. So in our case, we're just going to look for one that has actually a product inside of it that we can use. So I think this looks really great, use template. Product recommender just got better. Now you can select a category to recommend and exclude products from recommendations. I really like this OmniSend system because it fully integrates with your WooCommerce webshop. The product recommender, if you use that one, it will actually recommend products from in your webshop, in your email. That's pretty amazing. All right, here we are. We're gonna replace this image, of course, with our own image of the dump watch. So we're gonna upload it from our computer and we're gonna use this one, press select. And then we put it in the email like this. Of course, you might have a lot better products with way more beautiful pictures, but um, we're just going to use this one. Then these are all links for your web shop. This looks pretty good, but we're gonna change them. Of course, now it says men, but we want to use the uh, game, the consoles and we're going to change the link just going to use this link update it we have customized these links and, they, and now it looks really great and then we're going to change some text inside of it let's customize it even for a phone for every taste this is actually not a phone this is a dump watch every watch every shape every color for example you can change this let's change the button to our uh, button we're always using and we're gonna link to a special website elementarmarksdiv.com slash jump watch here we go if you configured your entire mail you can send a test mail to yourself and then when you're satisfied we press finish editing if i now finished it i get back to our settings because we now we have created the the A version and we actually want to create also a B version to do that we're just going to copy email A which is very powerful or else we need to change everything again by hand and then we're just going to change for example this image because now I want to use for example this image so that is waterproof and then you see this image when you open up your email make sure to actually add in a alt text for your image or else some email clients might block your images because they don't know the sender yet for the customer. So make sure to use an alt text, which says something like uh, the product name, waterproof. And then you can also add a link inside of the image, which I think is a great practice. So let's put it in there. And then we're also gonna press finish editing. Okay, now we have two versions, version A and version B. The campaign name is there, so we're ready for the next step. So before we can actually send some emails to our subscribers, we first need them. Now, if you already have, for example, Oreo contacts in MailChimp, I'm gonna show you right now how to import them and then we pick up right here. So I'm gonna show you how this works to send the mails. Press save and close over here. Go back to your dashboard. Now you can see we have done all the steps. So that's great, but we want to go to our audience. In our audience, we only have one contact. Hey, that's me. But we want to have more. So we're gonna press on add contacts and I'm going to import contacts from MailChimp. It's already in here. How great is that? Just click on this one. And then what we need to do is we need to get our API key from MailChimp and then it will just pull out all their contacts from our MailChimp list. 
So now we are in MailChimp. To get our API key, we go to our beautiful picture over here. You go to your profile. Over here, you go to extras and then our API keys. Click on this one and then we can create a new API key. Just scroll down a little bit and then I have a lot of things. Then we're going to press create a key. I'm going to call it moving to Omnisend. Press generate key. Then we need to copy this to clipboard. And then we go back to Omnisend and we're just going to paste in the API key over here. Press continue. And then we can sync only the selected audiences, but that's okay. Sync MailChimp tags, very useful. And we're going to press connect to MailChimp. Now MailChimp is connected with Omnisend. Your audience will be continuously synced with MailChimp. Now that's pretty good. So whenever a new contact will be added to MailChimp via my websites, then it will be updated right here. We just have to wait a couple of minutes and after that all my contacts will be synced to Omnisend. Press this cross icon over here. And then we are here, we can see that we have already connected MailChimp to our Omnisend. But maybe you don't have MailChimp, maybe you have another kind of provider. Then just go over here to Email Capture and you can see all the apps in here that could be used for email capturing. But you might want to integrate it, for example, with Facebook. Then you can just click on it and you can connect your Omnisend with Facebook. It's a really extensive system. They have a lot of apps so you can connect all of these things with your Omnisend account. So really powerful. Let's go away here. And then we go back to audience. Now we can see in our audience that all my subscribers has been added to Omnisend. We have about 10,000 contacts, so that's pretty nice. Let's go to back to our campaigns and let's finish our Dumpwatch Pro campaign spring. Let's click on it. Again, we have this everything great. Press next step. Now you can send it to all subscribers, but we can also create segments. I don't have segments right now, but we can create new ones. Just press on create a segment and you can see on my total context, you can see that I have different kind of tags added to my audience so I can really send them targeted emails. So go to segment. We're going to create a segment on here. We're going to create from scratch and we're just going to use a filter and the filter will be a tag and then the tag is and then we're going to search for every tag on Divi that I have. Here we go. Save and show context and it's Divi. Save it. Excellent. 730 people who are using Divi. So we go back. Going to create a new segment and create from scratch. I'm going to use a filter with a tag and the tag is something to do with Elementor. Here we go. And also hello. There we are. Save and show all the contacts and it is the Elementor tags. And then we can see over here that we have 8,451 people who falls into this segment. Let's get back to our campaign again. Go to campaigns. Here we go. We go to the next step and let me choose segments. Let's send it to the Divi people and press next step. Now this is actually really great. So. How many recipients should receive the winning version? We can actually choose that 5% uh, should choose version A, 5% version B, and the winner would get 90%. That's pretty nice, but we can also change it to this. I would say you need, a, you need at least 100 people on every version to test out which one the winner is. The more people you have in your list, the better this goes. And of course, if you just go one back, and we can choose all subscribers, press next. This is way better. Now we have 90% of the winners. Almost 9,000 people will receive the best email. And well, this is actually the way email marketing works best. Then we press the on next step. And then we can see, oops, sending limits reached. You do not have enough credits to send emails to all selected subscribers because I have a very big list. Well, if I want to send email and SMS to my list of almost 10,000 subscribers, I would need this package for $150 a month. Now, if you're doubting to spend money on email marketing and SMS campaigns, trust me, the return on investment is really insane. On the website of Omnisend, they have a report for their clients on 2023. And there's a lot of really interesting stuff in here. 
When it comes to own marketing channels, email remains the biggest fish in the pond. It's not only the most popular channel, it's also the most effective, generating an average ROE of $36 for every $1 invested. So for every $1 I put in, on average I get $36 out of there. Take my money, man! So you can do the math yourself if you want to use this system. But then you can edit your campaign, edit recepts, edits, and then you can send now or you can schedule the campaign. And then, my friend, your campaign will be sent out. We have created campaigns, we have created automations, we have created even a form, and we have created an audience. I showed you how to import them. And now you can also see at the reports how your business is growing and how your campaigns are actually working within Omnisense. The last thing I want to show you is, of course, the forms on my website itself, how they work. That would be really great. And also, I want to show you how to enable your own domain name within Omnisense. So let's click on your name and then we go over here to store settings. Now, in the store settings, you can see that we have the pricing plan, the SMS pricing. You So in the United States, you only pay one and a half cent per SMS. That's pretty low. Why do I have to pay... 14 cents per SMS. Then let's go to sender domains. I want to show you how to connect your own domain of your web shop to Omnisend. It's pretty easy if you know how. Press add sender domain. In our case, we're going to send from webmortgagediffy.com. Press continue. Then we need to add in these records to our hosting company. Don't freak out. It's pretty easy if you know how this actually works. Log into your hosting company. I am with Hostinger and it's a very good hosting company. I'm very happy with it. Good support, really fast systems and I really like it. When you are at your hosting company, you have to look for something called DNS and probably name service over there, but we only need to change the DNS records. Now make sure to don't delete any of these records that are here, because if you do, your website will not work anymore. And it's a bit of a hassle. You have to contact support to put them back. And that's not very nice. We go back to Omnisend. In here, you can see we need to create an SPF record. That's a TXT record with this value. So we're going to copy this. And what you can see is that we already have a TXT. What you can also do is just search for the SPF record. As you can see over here, there is one from Titan email. That's the email of Hostinger. The only thing you need to do is press edit. And then you just go over there and then you paste in everything for Omnisend. However, you don't want to make it double. So the F is SPF one, it's already in there. So delete it. Then the include milgun.org, that's all we need. So we're gonna copy this one, cut it out over here, cut it, delete this one. So this is the original. Then after the first one, include spftitan.email, we press spacebar and we paste in include milgun.org and then it's all the same as it was. This is the way it should be. Press update. Okay, that's one. Go to the next one. Then we need TXT records, which says key one, domain key, mortgage diffy. We're gonna copy this one and then the value is this one. All right, we're gonna add a record called TXT over here. The name is this, key one, blah, 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 blah. And the TXT value, is this one. So I'm going to copy it, value copied, and then I'm going to paste it in over here, and then I'm going to press add record. There we are. That's the second one. Then let's see for the third one, the DMARC, create a TXT record for mortgagediffy.com in your DNS with DMARC mortgagediffy.com. V is DMARC1, P is none. Well, I think I already have those, so let's see if I have this one. Search for DMARC. I have underscore DMARC, which is exactly the same, underscore DMARC. And the value is V is DMARC, P is none. V is DMARC 1, P is none. Great. Everything is in here. So we now just press verify records. And it was added successfully. It was added successfully. And it was added successfully. So the domain now has been authenticated. Well done. It was just that easy. Just press over here the cross icon. And then we are at the sender domain. You can see that mortgagediffy.com is now completely verified. Great work. If I now go to email addresses, I can add one with, for example, matt at mortgagediffy.com. Save it. 
here we go it has been unverified so we need to verify it and when i have verified it i can actually use it in combination with my sender domain and once it has been verified i can click over here and press on this one mortgagediffy.com not verified but it will be verified soon in us also with this one and then we see this mail from only send again and i'm going to verify this email address and now you can see that i can also email from matt at mortgagediffy.com the warm-up has not started yet what is the warm-up well to prevent your emails from going into the spam filters you can use a warm-up so that omnisend will gradually send emails from your own domain so that they will be get opens and get clicks and then like gmail hotmail mail, uh, office 365 all those services will see hey this sender is actually a legit sender and it is not supposed to go in spam so omnisend really did a great job by that by adding this warm-up feature to their systems i think this is really powerful and i have not seen it anywhere before now let's get back to our WordPress website. In here we have the plugin Omnisend for WooCommerce. It is on the top over here. And there's not very much to do over here. The only thing we can do over here is go to sync. So you can see what's going on. Well, we have two products that are synced and 10 categories. That worked pretty good. And if you go to logs, you can see what is already happening with the APIs between your website and Omnisend. And all the rest actually happens on Omnisend itself. So you can go to Omnisend and then we are again here on our dashboard. And if I now open up my website, we see over here this 10% off button. And when I click on it, there is our 10% off your first order. So we're just gonna add it in and then let's see what happens. There we are, thanks for signing up. As a thank you, you'll find a 10% discount in your inbox. Excellent job, this looks great. If you want this powered by Omnisend to move away, we have to upgrade our plans and then it will move away. If I now close it, you can see that 10% discount is now gone. And you can also see now that in the checkout, there has been added a new box, email we with news and offers, optional. And that is below your email address. So now there's also an option to pay and immediately go into the system of Omnisend. If you like this video, maybe you also want to see how I created this beautiful e-commerce website with Elementor Pro and WooCommerce. Follow this link and I will show you exactly how to do it step by step. I'll see you there.